Aloha everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit since I've done a video and I actually have quite a few boxes kind of sitting around me right now but the first one I am going to dive into is going to be my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus which is $25 a month. You get four, sorry, not four, five full-size items in it for that $25 a month and starting next month they're gonna let you start customizing for your bag I believe that is on the 24th is the customization I did sign up for the ultimate which is the new $50 subscription where you get eight full size and four deluxe sample sizes I'm still debating on that it's kind of going to depend on funds but I am excited to open this up I've actually used some of the products on my face today so I will kind of tell you what I have used, where I've used it as I get to it, but you open it up and this month it comes with the bright yellow styrofoam, is it styrofoam? Anyways, it says don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you, and then the, it always comes with a little card and it's September 2019, find your light. September is all about new possibility, new paths and possibilities. So whether it's going all out with a bold new lip shade or masking at home to recharge from within, take a moment to rediscover your guiding North Star. Where will it lead you? Discover yourself or hashtag discover yourself. And then it tells you a little bit about how Glam Bag is improving and it comes with a bag next month, so that's interesting. And then, of course, everything you got on the other side with the retail prices. The first thing I see, I actually have used this, I think just once. I've only used this once because I do have quite a few exfoliating cleansers. This is the Glam Glow Tropical Cleanse Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. And it's a very pretty package. It's like this orangey red with these, like, abstract looking fruits on it. It looks maybe like dragon fruit and berries. I don't know. I did think it smells a little bit like berries. Mm, I actually really like the scent even though I don't really usually prefer my cleansers to be scented but I do like the scent and I love Glam Glow. Everything I tried from Glam Glow I really do like and I think this smells like berries. My mother-in-law thinks it smells like flowers but I don't see it. But I did use this once. It does smell nice. Initially when you start to like massage it into your face and all that, it, the smell is kind of at the forefront. But as you work it in, the smell kind of dissipates. At least that was my experience with it the one time I used it. I do plan on using this. But like I said, I do have quite a few exfoliating cleansers. So I might like put them through a rotation or something or depending on what my skin needs that day. But I do like this. The next thing is an outdoor skincare pomegranate mask. Oh, and also I didn't show you guys, but this cleanser is actually like a dusky purple. I don't know if you can you can see that, but it's like a kind of mauve color. I don't know why I just put cleanser on my finger, but I'm gonna have some clean pants now going on my pants okay so this apto skincare pomegranate mask when i saw pomegranate mask i really did think that it would smell like pomegranate <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't smell like pomegranate at all i think it personally smells like lavender i think it smells like lavender my mother-in-law said she smelled citrus but i am not smelling citrus at all Yeah, I don't smell citrus. I smell straight lavender. This smells like lavender to me, not pomegranate. I did use this. Um, I didn't notice like a huge difference in my face. I do enjoy the scent of lavender. And so, and then part of the instructions on this, it says to cleanse and exfoliate skin. That's why I used this before this. And apply a thin mask layer, allowing it to sink in for around 10 minutes without drying too much. And rinse off in the shower or with tepid water and a cotton pad so I did that I didn't really notice a huge difference in my skin but I didn't notice a negative difference either so I'll continue to 
uh, be trying this out and letting you guys know what I think of it. My empties basket is almost full, so an empties basket might, or an empties video might happen before the end of the month. We shall see. Okay, the next thing I got is this. You can see the package is already kind of ripped open because I really stink apparently at opening these kind of packages. But this is the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. And it's super white. I don't know if you can see how white that is. The packaging is pretty. Got my fingerprints on it. But I have to open it very carefully because if you're not careful with this, if you put your um, brush into it or a little puff or a beauty blender it can tend to go everywhere and it's very white I had been using it with a beauty blender and you have to kind of get it really targeted on the beauty blender or it like makes these really weird blotches on my face I don't know if that's just me I did use it underneath my eyes I use it on my nose right here right here and then right here and for the most part it's fine but I I noticed underneath my eyes it kind of turned my concealer a weird color, like a peachy color. And I usually like my eyes to be a little, under my eyes to be a little bit lighter than the rest of my face. So I'll just, probably have to play around with this a little. I've tried it twice and both times it has kind of made my under eyes look a little strange. So I'll just have to play with this a little bit more. But as far as like, I use it to kind of tone down uh, hopefully the oils and the shine on the rest of my face where I tend to get sweaty like my nose right here my upper lip sometimes right below my lip and then on my forehead and I don't think it's terrible for that but I don't know if it's my I don't know if I'm a powder person I I have been using powder for a really long time but I'm just not sure if I'm a powder person now <laughs> I'll have to play around with the different powders I think I have like Four different setting powders now maybe I'll just have to play around with them and find the right combination or what have you but I don't know I'm starting to think because under my eyes it's almost no matter what powder I use it looks a little bit like drying and cakey for my taste but maybe I'm just doing it wrong I don't know the next thing I got is this Ofra and Madison Miller squad palette I really think at opening these packages why it's all like torn <laughs> okay I'm gonna do a couple of swatcheroos or I guess a trio of swatcheroos real quick and then okay so here are the I'm gonna do the, the blush in the center with just one more over because it didn't really show up the first time but here are the swatches. So this one over here, it's actually backwards. So this is the, the far, um, this one right here is actually right here. The blush is in the center. And then the one over here, the more brown one is right here. So it's a little bit, hold on, there we go, <laughs> there, there it is corresponding with one another, the palette. I actually like the blush a lot more than I thought I would, and when I use my brush to pick it up and put it on, there's actually like no kick up in the pan whatsoever, which I think is pretty awesome. These highlighters, I've tried both of them, and though, I mean, they're pretty, they're a little bit dark from my personal taste. I like it to be a little more, maybe they're not coming off quite as dark in the pan as they look on me, um, but they just, they're a little bit darker than the highlighters I'm used to, so maybe I'll have to, like, mix them with something, or I mean, maybe they can make some cute eyeshadows like a halo effect in the center of the eye or something but as far as highlighters I don't know how often I'll actually reach for this palette for highlighters but I really do like the blush I like the blush more than I thought I would especially since there's no kick up because almost any blush I use pretty much always has kick up 
And then the last thing I got is this Wonder Beauty Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil. And I actually used that on my brows today. I like a pencil. My favorite pencil I've tried as far as eyebrows go so far is the Cella <clears throat> Brow Pencil and Taupe. This one's fine. Um, some It takes a little bit longer to work than some of my other things. But I actually don't mind this pencil at all. And I like the fact... And it came in the right shade. And I like the fact that it comes with a little spoolie too. And this spoolie actually works really well because my eyebrows sometimes are just wild beasts and try to do their own thing and hair is going everywhere. So it's really nice to have this one to kind of tame them and put them in place and it works pretty well. This is actually one of the better spoolies I've used. I know that's a kind of a weird thing, but <laughs> it's one of the better spoolies I've used, especially to kind of tame my eyebrows. And so I do like this. I'll probably be trying it. I think I got another brow product in another box that I have laying on my desk. But so those are the five I five items. I I am glad I got the brow product, which apparently retails for $21. And this is the color taupe. I don't personally know if I'd pay $21 for it, but I do like it. I will get use out of it. And then the Ofra and Madison Miller Squad Goals Blush and Highlighter Palette retails for $35. I would not pay $35 for this. The highlighter colors are not my personal preference. I prefer my highlighters to be a little lighter, um, but they are pretty. I will try to use them again maybe give them a little bit more of a fair shot. I've tried both and the one I actually have on today is the somewhat kind of lighter one over here. It's more of a pinky iridescent shade um, and I do like this one more than this one. This is um, a little bit more coppery and on my skin it just looks like it's it's pigmented. Maybe if I try to diffuse it out a little bit more I'll give this a better shot but I do really like the blush in that but would not pay $35 for that palette sorry not sorry the Ciate London Extraordinary Setting Powder retails for $22 that's not too bad um I don't know I I think I just have to play with this more especially in the under eye area I think my other areas like my nose right here here I do feel sweating a little bit but the shine is not terrible my oil isn't like super shiny right now but it did it did create a little bit of a weird peachiness like if I applied it too heavy handedly or especially under my eyes I had to go and re-blend that out for a long time in order for it to look decent <laughs> because it was just like looking all kinds of dry and peach under there but I'll play with it a little more and see what happens I'm sure I'll get some use out of that out of this even though I do have quite a few setting powders but another one so the list never hurts and then the opto mask retails for 36 bucks I probably wouldn't pay $36, especially since I already have probably six face masks I haven't used yet. So probably wouldn't pay $36 for this, but I do in smell, I do in smell, I do enjoy the smell of lavender, but I don't know, especially for, let me just show you how big this is again, $36. I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think about that. I don't, I, mm -mm, nope. Would not be $36 for that. But I will enjoy it while I have it. And then the Glam Glow Exfoliating Cleanser retails for $34. Which really isn't bad for a Glam Glow product. But would I go and run out and buy this when I run out? No, because I'm sure I'll have 8,000 other cleansers that I can use. But it does smell nice, even though I generally don't prefer to use fragrances in my skincare. So this will probably be something that I use if I'm running low on other things. But it does smell nice. It did get my face clean like a cleanser is supposed to. So 
all in all, it was a good month. I I could I, I think I changed my beauty quiz, quiz to rarely on cleansers and masks and powders because I have a lot of those things now. So though I am really happy that I got this, I don't need cleanser for a while. I am happy I got the mask, but I don't need masks for a while. I'm happy to try out this powder, even though I have plenty. And I actually really like getting face palettes in boxes, so I don't mind that I got the highlighter and the blush, even though I don't know how often I'll wear the highlighter. But I will probably be wearing this blush actually quite a lot because I do like it. The pigment's nice and it blends super, super easily. And then I will definitely be using this brow pencil because I do like pencils. Even though I do have a few brow products, I, for some reason, I gravitate toward a pencil. So I'll probably be getting a lot of use out of this. So that is my box. I am actually going to total it up really quickly, the value, and then I will be right back. Okay, so this baby, all the products in here came out to about $148, so just under $150, which is great for a $25 box. I think some of the things were a little bit inflated for my personal taste, or I would never actually go out and spend that much money on X, Y, and Z products, so I'm really glad I got all of those products for $25. I don't think it was the best matched to me personally, because I think I had already said something like the powder and the masks and the cleansers. They might not have been rarely, but I definitely know they weren't often. Maybe it was the best combination of things that I could get because that's how Ipsy works. It's like a combination. So all in all, I am fine with the box. I will, I think the standout product to me would probably be either the blush in that palette or the eyebrow product because I will use it. The other things are nice bonuses that I am glad to have gotten. But I do have probably, let's see, one, two, three, four, four other things to unbox in the near future. So I definitely will be coming out with more videos soon. I had to take my daughter to a doctor's appointment yesterday and she got shots and she got sick. Or not sick, but she had a fever and so I was taking care of her last night even though she went to sleep super early. I just had to kind of make sure she was fine. So I haven't really been filming in a while because I've kind of been running after a toddler. But... I will try to make time for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Any rating helps me, and if you have things that you might like to see, feel free to suggest them. I'm not in a place really where I can go out and buy makeup to review at this time, but I, I did get a job. I am not starting yet. There's a few steps I have to take before I start, but hopefully in the next couple slash few weeks I will be working so maybe I will have some money to go buy some new releases and test them out for you guys but right now this channel is pretty much just box reviews and I mean I might be doing some other things here and there but uh if you guys have been watching Big Brother that is ending next week and I that's that's one of my favorite shows I know I'm a huge nerd but I love it Maybe I'll come and talk about how that ends. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in. If not, that's fine. You don't have to watch it. <laughs> but if you like the content that I showed you today or the content I've created so far, feel free to subscribe. If not, that's okay too. <laughs> and you can leave a comment down below anything if you just want to say hi, if you have opinions about the products I got, if you want to tell me what you got in your Ipsy, what your favorite subscription box is, anything you want to tell me feel free to tell me, but I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll be linking some videos shortly, and like I said, I do have some boxes sitting on this desk that have yet to be opened, so hopefully in the next week or so, I will have some more videos for you guys, and thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!